everybody. Would you like to find out what the story is going to be this week? I've got it right here. And it's an exciting one because it's all to do with the outside. And we'll be able to do lots of exploring this week. It's called Mad About Mini Beasts. Look, can you see some mini beasts on there? Well, in here we've got lots of little rhymes about these different mini beasts. And when we finish reading our story, we'll be able to think of lots of fun activities that we can do where we can go and find some of them in our own gardens. Mad About Mini Beasts by Giles, Andre and David Watchovich. He's done the drawings, he's the illustrator. At the bottom of your garden, you might just hear a sound. A chirrup from the treetops or a scuttle on the ground. If you step a little closer, maybe you can see a ladybird, a dragonfly, a beetle or a bee. The sun is in the sky and it's a lovely summer's day. The mini beasts have seen you and they want to come and play. And there they all are. Look, can you see them? Snail. Oh, I love snails. We're famous for slithering slowly, but wouldn't you also be slow if you had to carry your house on your back wherever you wanted to go? Slug. We're sticky and we're slimy and we haven't any bones, so we hang out under flower pots and shelter under stones. I wonder if you've spotted a snail or a slug in your garden. Oh, we're going underground for this next one. Worm. I wiggle and wriggle down into my hole. And then when I want something scrummy, I munch a few mouthfuls of marvellous mud. Do try some. It's really quite yummy. So there they go, look. Underground. Do you think you'd like to eat some mud? I don't think so either. Someone with eight legs now. We've walked through all like this. And weaves a web. Who do you think it is? It's a spider. I love to wake up in the morning when my web is all covered with dew. It's such a fine sight when it glitters so bright. Don't you think it's beautiful too? And then coming along. Bzzz, why? My eyes are big and orange and my body's black and fuzzy and I fly around your house all day just being very fuzzy. There we go. Have a look at that. I love spiders. Some people are scared of them but they don't need to be because spiders can't hurt you. Beetle. We've got these two feelers on top of our heads which wiggle and help us to see. And we scuttle around without making a sound. Can you scuttle as quickly as me? And here's an earwig. I like to feed on tasty plants and trees that have gone rotten. But the weirdest thing about me is these pinchers on my bottom. And <laughs> look, can you see? And earwigs look a bit scary, but they won't hurt you either. None of these creatures will. You get lots of different types of beetles too. Stick insect. Now we don't get these in our country. These live in hot countries. And in fact, I can show you one a little bit later because my little boy has got one that he keeps in a special little tank. So I can show that to you. They don't live in the wild, but in this story, one does. A stick insect. I'd rather not be eaten. So I've got this brilliant trick. I cling to leaves and branches and pretend that I'm a stick. Ant. We do have ants. We ants like to work as an army, which means that we do things together. Just watch how we carry these leaves to our nest. You must admit, that's pretty clever. So you might sometimes see a big long line of ants all working together to take things to their special nest. 
I munch on the leaves in the garden, then slowly I spin my cocoon. But now I must sleep, as I'm going to be a beautiful butterfly soon. Ladybird. How many spots has a ladybird got? Look at my back and you'll see. I know that I've got, well, I've got quite a lot. Why don't you count them with me? There's a ladybird and this is centipede. Hello, I'm the centipede. How do you do? I'm as friendly as friendly can be. Now, which of my hands would you most like to shake? I've got at least 30, you see. So if you have a look at the centipede there, can you see all those legs? I wonder if you'll spot a centipede in your garden. Ooh. Bee. There's nothing more brilliant than being a bee. You may think that it sounds a bit funny, but you'd shout hooray if you lived every day in a hive full of heavenly honey. Now bees can sting you, but they really don't. If you leave a bee alone, if it's flying around and buzzing near you, if you leave a bee alone, he'll just buzz away. He doesn't want to sting you, they're very friendly. <gasps> dragonfly. Now you'd be very lucky if you saw a dragonfly. I don't know if there's any of them around just yet because it's springtime. But if you go near places where there are ponds, you might get to see one. My wings are like shimmering rainbows and my body's a dazzling green. Of all of the animals here in this pond, surely I must be the queen. There they are. Grasshopper, even more. We grasshoppers do enjoy jumping, as our legs are incredibly strong. And when we're not jumping, we rub them together to make the most beautiful song. Did you like those mini beasts? What a lot there are! Flying, crawling, slithering and jumping oh so far. Some live by the water and some live in the air. Some like living underground and finding food down there. But now let's leave the garden. We can come another time. Which beast was your favourite? I bet you can't guess mine. And there we are, look, it's night time now in the garden. And all those mini beasts are there. And that's the end. Well, which one was your favourite? Do you know? Oh, well, my favourite is, let me think, gosh, there's so many to choose from. Well, I love them all. But one of my favourites, I think, is the bee, because they do such important jobs for us. And we're going to find out about that later in the week. I hope you enjoyed that. See if you can go out into your garden and spot any mini beasts out there. Okay, so you'll vow. See you later. <laughs>